In this video, discover how you can use digital currency to transfer money internationally much easier, much safer, much faster, and find out about how it can help you as an entrepreneur when I interview Kurt David Robinson. The world today for entrepreneurs is more exciting than ever. And one of the real advantages is out there that many are picking up on is digital currencies, where you can get out and you can make business, do business with people worldwide and use uh, technologies that are out there like blockchain technology. There's many of them out there. Bitcoin is the most famous one, but there's others like uh, Monero and Dash and Litecoin and a host of others that are coming. Today, you are in for a treat because I've got joining me an expert on this subject who's working with it regularly. His name is Kurt Robinson, and he's joined us from his offices down there in Mexico. How are you doing Hello. today, Kurt? Yeah, I'm good. Thanks. How good. Are you, well, I appreciate you being on here. You have a background of helping people, and you've done a lot with dig different digital currencies. Tell us a little bit about the kind of things that you have done so far with the blockchain world of Bitcoin, Dash, and other currencies. Right. Well, mostly I've just been into it. Um, the, the, the reason I got into this was because I, I realized there was a way uh, using this technology to avoid government control because the, with these things like central banks, fiat currency like the US dollar, it's controlled by these ver very small groups. And when you have something like, like Bitcoin or these other digital currencies, you can get away from that. So I saw this, this opportunity uh, uh, to um, save my wealth in another way. So, so mostly what I do, uh, I, I don't uh, use a lot of Bitcoin day to day, but I, I do use it to, uh, as a sort of savings account and uh, also use it for, say, receiving uh, tips uh, online. That's a, that's a way that a lot of people use it as well. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think there's a lot of opportunities. Well, let me ask you this. When people that are watching this are going to be entrepreneurs, they've heard a little bit about uh, uh, Bitcoin or blockchain, or maybe they didn't know much at all on that. Uh, what would be some practical ways that you could increase your business? You, of course, are uh, international. You're doing a lot there. You're from Australia, now living in Mexico. And by the way, your Spanish is very good. At least okay. it seems that way to me. My Spanish is <laughs> terrible, though, but I'm working on it right now. Uh, but you've uh, done very well living there. But how would entrepreneurs entrepreneurs, small business people, people that are sole proprietors, be able to use digital currency? And what would be a practical reason for them to do that? Yeah. Well, the thing is, uh, people who are interested in, in Bitcoin and Dash and other digital currencies are very excited about it because it represents the, this kind of uh, decentralization of, of, of the system, which means that people have more control over their money. So the the, the fact is they're excited about it and they want to spend it. So if you advertise that you can accept these kinds of digital currencies, then they're more likely to shop with you. Uh, so we, we were uh, talking before about, uh, before we, the interview started, we were talking about BitPay, uh, which you can use to accept Bitcoin payments. And then there's also uh, SpectraCoin, which is a similar service and you can use it uh, to, to accept these digital currency payments and then convert it into uh, euros or dollars. So you don't have to worry about the technical stuff. You don't have to worry about having to handle or secure the, the Bitcoins or what have you. Um, you can just nice. accept them and, and uh, use them as, as capital as you normally would. Yeah, Kurt, that is really good. Let me go back and make sure those that are listening to this, uh, that is really important. It gives you a way to open up new opportunities for making money, for dealing with people around the world. And so you said BitPay. Matter of fact, Kurt, if you don't mind, some are going to be listening to this in uh, yep. audio only, and English is not their number one language, their main language. Spell sure. that for us, Bit, BitPay and also the uh, Spectrum coin you mentioned. Yep, BitPay, B-I-T-P-A-Y, and SpectroCoin S P E C T R O C O I N. Very Spectra good. Coin. Yep. Thank you. Thank you very much. Very so we can get in there. We can no do way. that. Yeah. But do you find there are um, many people that are accepting it? Uh, what what level of acceptance are you seeing in Mexico, where you are now, as well as other parts around the world, for actually using the coins? Well, it's it's still not huge. 
Um, but there are certain stores that accept it. I remember we went, uh, I went down one of the main streets here uh, in Guadalajara. I went down to Bultepec and I tried to spend Bitcoin in like 7-Eleven and, and Starbucks and this kind of thing. And I couldn't get a single one to accept it. Uh, but I do know there is at least one uh, comic store that accepts it here. And there's, there's a couple of food trucks. If you go to Mexico City, uh, the, this, uh, this famous cafe called uh, Punta del Cielo, uh, accepts it all through Mexico City. Um, and if you go online and, and you go on Google and search for uh, where, where can I spend my Bitcoins, um, you'll find that there are thousands of merchants uh, over the internet, especially, that are accepting uh, currency. And the same, the same if you go um, to Dash.org and look for what merchants are accepting Dash, you'll see there are around a 1,000 that are accepting it. Oh, very good. And I think we're seeing more and more all the time that are embracing uh, many different types of them. Matter of fact, that's the next thing I wanted to go into and ask you, because you are one of the experts literally in the world. That is not hyperbole. You're one of the experts in the world right now on a coin called Dash, D-A-S-H, which is available over at Dash.org. Tell us a little bit about Dash, what it is, how it differs from Bitcoin or some other coins that are out there, and the benefits for an entrepreneur to use that. Yep. Uh, yeah, so so Dash is a very interesting and very very innovative. Um, so one of the problems uh, with Bitcoin that people are a bit worried about in in terms of its long term viability uh, is the fact that it's being funded by these these various sources, like being funded by uh, MIT's Digital Currency Initiative and and Blockstream and the, these other companies uh, who don't necessarily have Bitcoin's best interests at heart. Uh, whereas Dash is what we call a decentralized autonomous organization. So the money that uh, Dash uses to fund its development team actually comes from the, from the organization itself. So when new currency is created, some of it goes towards the development team. Uh, and so that, that speaks something about its, about its long-term viability because it means there's less chance of it being co-opted or controlled. Uh, because this represents a, a, th these decentralized currencies represent a huge risk to established institutions like banks and central banks. And uh, one of the one of the important things is uh, Dash is very fast uh, compared to any other digital currency and compared to legacy systems like bank transfers. Uh, like if I send a bank transfer in Australia, I, I reasonably expect it to arrive within two to three business days. Uh, whereas with Dash, if I send it, I can get it, uh, it, it can be there in the person's wallet within seconds and it could be spendable within minutes. Really? Um, Hold on. Let yes. me make sure we got that. That is amazing what you just said. I can buy something. I know I've worked with a company, a client of mine over in Australia recently. And mm -hmm. when they would send it, we had to wait, seemed like forever, but it was like two, three, sometimes maybe four or five days. And then there was a huge uh, chunk that they took out in terms yeah. of fees and transfer fees and all that kind of stuff. You're telling me with Dash, I can do it in literally within a few minutes, I could have a large sum of money transferred over? Yes. Yes. And what kind of fees are we going to pay with that? Well, uh, you, I remember you mentioned to me that uh, Roger Ver had that transaction. Uh, he sent the, this uh, 100,000 uh, transaction in the hundreds of thousands of dollars, and it was sent, received within minutes, and it only cost him fractions of cent. I think it was uh, 0.3 cents was the figure that he mentioned. Uh, so it's definitely much cheaper than, you know, um, sending money through a wire transfer or anything like that, uh, Western Union, what have you. Oh, yeah, uh, definitely. Yeah. And matter of fact, for those of you watching, listen to what Kurt said. This is really important because now when you're dealing internationally, which many of us are, and if you're not, you should be, don't put all your eggs in one country. Make sure that you diversify and are available other ways. When you have digital currency, you can transfer it. Now, I understand that the fees have gone up on coins like Bitcoin. There is a higher fee now, and it sometimes can take a little while, but it's still way ahead of the three, four, five days, business days that it might take with other coins. Is that correct, Kurt? Yeah, that's exactly right. So say if you were to send like $1,000 using Bitcoin and you wanted to arrive uh, very quickly, uh, you might set a high fee, like in the, in 
say a couple of dollars. So you put two, two, three dollars on there. That's a and, high fee, two or three dollars. Okay. <laughs> yes. It's, send, it's sending uh, like a thousand dollars. Yeah. Uh, yeah. But the problem is, of course, these, these fees are increasing over time with Bitcoin. Um, but yes, it is definitely still much lower uh, than than these legacy systems. Yeah, very important. So those of you that are watching this and you're saying, gee, I haven't done anything with digital currency. I wonder what Bitcoin is. I wonder what Dash is. This is important. This is business. When you could send a large sum of money, I know, for instance, a lot of friends of mine, professional speakers, dealing with uh, numbers that are a lot larger, that uh, 10, 15, 20,000 US dollars would not be unusual. And being able to send that by wire transfer, it does take a long time. And the fees can be literally in the hundreds of dollars. And by the time you use even something like PayPal, PayPal, you've got your 2.9% plus 30 cents, you know, there. And then with foreign currencies, it's going to be maybe 5% or more. And sometimes they hold off on it because they go, whoa, 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 this is from someplace outside of this country or that country or whatever. And they'll hold off. Here's an alternative for you to get what you need. And it's spendable currency when you convert it back through uh, some other places like we were talking about earlier. This is a game changer. And it's really opening up a world for that. So, Kurt, we look at that, we go, okay, it sounds nice. Somebody might be watching this saying, I'd like to, but I still don't know what to do. Can you just kind of talk us through that? What someone would need to do that says, okay, I want to get started. I've got um, X dollars, maybe a hundred, five hundred, a thousand dollars US. And they say, I want to put that into something like Bitcoin or Dash. How do I get started? Would you walk us through that, please? Yeah, sure. So, there are a few routes that you can go down. And unfortunately, this is kind of the bottleneck that we have at the moment because it's difficult to get the money from these fiat currencies, from dollars into digital currencies. But uh, if you want to get started uh, the easy way, you can go onto a site uh, such as localbitcoins.com and find a vendor for bitcoins in your area and uh, either meet up with them or send them a, a check or bank transfer and they can send you the funds in the digital currency. Uh, okay, you've been so, repeating, excuse me for interrupting yep. here, but that, that's localbitcoins.com, correct? Yep, exactly. L-O-C-A-L, then B-I-T-C-O-I-N, local Bitcoin, is that plural? Oh, or Bitcoins. With coins an with an S. Yep. Bitcoins.com. So thank you. Mm -hmm. Go ahead and continue. Yep, yep. And the similar service, which is still in its early days, but for, for Dash, we have dashes.com. So that's D A S H ous.com and you can go on there uh, and look for vendors in your area or, or uh, vendors or buyers in your area uh, people who want to buy and sell dash and you can use that so that's that's one way to get started another way is you can look at these um, exchanges uh, such as poloniex or uh, bitrex um, so poloniex p o l o n i e x.com Bitrex is B-I-T-T-R-E-X.com. So you can go on those sites and you can send them uh, funds with a, with a variety of methods, probably through bank transfer or check or money, money order, something like that. Uh, these ones, a lot of them, they don't send, tend to accept credit cards uh, or debit cards because those transactions can be reversed. So it puts them at a huge risk. So if you want to, if you want to buy with credit cards, you can. Uh, but you have to pay a premium. So if you go to, for example, uh, cex.io, uh, you can buy Bitcoins there using uh, credit cards uh, and you pay, I think it's about a 10% premium. Mm. Yeah, that's quite a bit, uh, Steve. And of course, another way to do it uh, that I think is one of the easiest ways to do it is when you want to get some uh, Bitcoin, you want to get some Dash, just work with someone. Like for instance, Kurt, yeah. if I were to do a service for you and you were going to pay me, you say, okay, I'll charge X number of uh, US dollars. I say, well, I want you to pay me in Dash then mm -hmm. that would be very easy. I just do whatever you and I would agree upon. You look at it, say, okay, Terry, you did a good job on this. You came and spoke for my group or you wrote this column or you coached with me, you helped me on that. So Terry, yep. I will now pay you what we agreed upon and you pay me with a certain number of dash. It seemed like that'd be a really good way to start getting those coins into your uh, wallet. Would that be correct? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Or you can uh, put up a, a tip jar on your website and say, please, uh, if, if you like what I'm doing, Send, send me some money, put it on your podcast or, you, or your website, uh, on your videos, YouTube videos, and so people can support you uh, and it's, it's reasonably easier for them to do that. 
Yeah. And matter of fact, let's get real world on this here too, because some people might say, gee, I really like Kurt, what he's doing. And I encourage you that are watching this, you're meeting Kurt for the first time. You want to get to know this guy. He's got a wealth of information out there on using different kinds of tools on what they can do and how you can work with them. And that Kurt, if someone wants to get in touch with you and they'd like to give you some money or a tip, how do they do that? Yeah. Well, you could go on the, the paradise paradox.com uh, T H E P A R A D I S E P A R A D O X dot com. You're doing and real can, well on the spelling on that. We appreciate <laughs> it. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> and you can check out uh, check out the podcast and the YouTube channel on there. And you can uh, you can also send us a tip if if uh, if you find some use out of that uh, the information that we have on there. Yeah, that would be good. As a matter of fact, here's what I'm going to do, Kurt. While I got you here, I might embarrass you a little bit, but that's okay. I'm going to go over here and I want to share a screen. And here we are at a website you might have seen. Tell us about this website. <laughs> okay. So, yeah, the Paradise Paradox is a website. Uh, you see there the, the, uh, one of the taglines, worldliness and spirituality. So we yeah, do right talk, talk about digital currency and the, the economy. Um, but we also talk about a, a lot of things like uh, shamanism and spirituality, uh, all, all kinds of uh, various topics. And, and I've interviewed uh, a lot of uh, fascinating people, uh, such as Jeff Bowick from the Dollar Vigilante, uh, Luis Fernando Mises, of uh, Emancipated Human, Amanda B. Johnson of Dash Detailed, who's also, um, she, she's, uh, you know, the, fa the public face of Dash and a uh, lovely lady. Um, so there's a lot of uh, interesting stuff on there. So I hope you check it out. Oh, very good. As a matter of fact, those of you that are uh, here, if you're interested in finding something that can be really helpful to you, check out the podcast. Here's the podcast, and we'll clear the, bring this up right here. This is what they have right now. Of course, uh, as time goes on, there's more information all the time there. But there's our mutual friend, Derek Bros, and yep. some information that are available. And these podcasts are very good for you to learn about what's happening. How to squash Mexican protesters, Alfredo Romero, and uh, <laughs> lots of good information on uh, many different areas here in Mexico because you have that uh, uh, base there to look at it and her also Kurt uh, you are a hip-hop singer you sang at a recent uh, event where we were so you see ladies and gentlemen there's a lot of information there so what you want to do is go back to the T-H-E paradiseparadox.com. You can see that up here in this area here. Matter of fact, let me bring up our little annotation tool again here. I'll circle this one for you. So it's right here. There's the URL. You want to take a look at that one, write that down, and particularly look at the podcast that he has. Kurt's done a really good job of that. So Kurt, uh, tell us a little bit if somebody wants to uh, get in touch with you uh, and uh, find out how you might be able to help them out. Sure. Well, uh, anybody can add me on Facebook. That's, that's uh, probably the easiest way. Um, my name on Facebook is Kurt David Robinson. And uh, yeah, I guess that's, a, that's probably the easiest way to contact me. You can find me on Twitter at Trouble Bubble. Uh, yeah, tr Trouble Bubble, T-R-O-U-B-L-E-B-U-B-B-L-E. <laughs> Very good. I like a trouble bubble. That sounds good. Well, because <laughs> yeah, well, you have done a lot. And matter of fact, let me ask you this. I'm just going to, we didn't even talk about this before, but I'll go put you yeah. a little bit on the spot. If someone said, hey, I want to learn a little bit more about Dash. I want to learn more about digital currency. Do you offer consulting or coaching to people? Uh, no, I don't. But uh, I mean, if you, if you have some small questions or something, uh, talk to me and I can, I can help you out. Uh, maybe in the future, I'll, I'll consider doing that. So okay. my, but but now it's just, uh, you know, just for passion or just for tips. A lot of people from the Dash community have sent me tips for, for the for the videos I've made. They love them. <laughs> ah, well, that's good. Well, you do a good job of that. And I would encourage you just as an entrepreneur myself to think about that, that you might uh, want to do that in the future. But uh, those of you who are watching this, hey, you want to get to know this guy. Get to know his material. You'll find it very, very helpful. Well, Kurt, before we let you go, uh, get out of here. Any final words on what you see with the benefits and where we're going with digital currencies like Dash, Bitcoin, and others that are out there? Where are we heading on this whole yep, road? Yep. All the, uh, oh, well, just, just one thing I'll mention first is uh, before when you ask me about how to spend them, one thing I forgot, which is very important, is purse.io. So P U R S E.io, yeah. uh, where you can spend your Bitcoins to buy Amazon gift cards. And you often get them at a discount. So that means you can buy things from Amazon 
even cheaper than than you normally would. So that's a great way to to use that service. Uh, Thanks so, for mentioning that. Yep, no worries. Um, yeah. So uh, in terms of the future, uh, one one important thing with Dash is that the development team at the moment is very focused on user experience. So they're working on this project they call Dash Evolution, and it's going to make these digital currencies or specifically Dash, very much easier to use. Uh, and that's important because at the moment, you do have to be a bit of a tech head uh, to, to figure out your way around things and uh, figure out how to, how to secure your currency and all this kind of thing. Um, so this is going to make it easier to do that. And it's going to mean that you can do things instead of having to write down a, a very long address or use a QR code. Maybe you can just send a dash to somebody using something that looks more like an email address. So it's something that's, that you can just say to somebody uh, rather than having to you know, copy it right, right down and, and uh, uh, get confused with all the numbers and letters that are in there. Uh, so that's very important. And I do think um, this shift from this this old money like government controlled money to new money this decentralized digital money i think that that's inevitable so uh, it just depends it's just a, a matter of time how long it's going to take uh so i expect to see that playing out over the next five or ten years and uh it's the the reason i one of the key reasons i'm so passionate about this is because there are so many problems in the world and a lot of them actually have this, this root at this government, this government currency. Uh, because if you have a thing like war, um, normally the way governments fund war is by using their own currency uh, and they have control over that currency so they can print more of it to spend on tanks. But with uh, Bitcoin, with Dash, they're not going to have that power. Uh, and that's going to reduce the amount of suffering in the world. So that's, that's basically the reason I'm so passionate about it. Yeah, well, I appreciate you saying that. I think there's a lot to think about with that. And for those of you watching this, those of you that are entrepreneurs, that you're expanding your business, this is something that's important. Being able to have other currencies just makes sense. Kurt, I would imagine that as you travel between Mexico and if you go back to Australia or to the States, you know that it's a good idea to have a few uh, dollars in those currencies available and uh, have that available. If you're going to go to Europe a lot, well, have some euros. Wouldn't hurt, particularly just that you can get from the airport to a local bank bank to get a better rate. Having some Bitcoins, having some Dash, having some other currencies makes a lot of sense in today's world. And besides the fact that you can change Dash into Bitcoin, Bitcoin into Dash, you can change them both into fiat currencies like US dollars or euros or pesos or whatever. It helps you to be able to handle uh, the unknown. It helps you to open up opportunities even more. Something to think about. Kurt, thank mm -hmm. you so much for being with us today. Great wealth of information. And I uh, hope you have a great day there in Mexico. Thanks, Terry. Great to talk to you. And for those of you joining me, thank you for being here. Look into this. Go out and see Kurt's website. Watch some of those podcasts that he has. Listen to those. Watch the videos that are there. Some good information that will help kind of fill in some blanks of what's going on, how it's being used, and what's available. And you will be glad that you did it. Yes, you're welcome. So you go ahead and get on that, and I will look forward to seeing you. So speaking here about Bitcoin, about marketing and technology, I'm Terry Brock with terrybrock.com. Thank you for being with me today.